Mr. James Carr. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I think the point has been driven here by the other union leaders, but the one point that hasn't been made right here, we have closed contracts through 2015. Closed. We're under no obligation to reopen it. What we've told you time and time again is that we're willing to help and be reasonable. What has happened is that you've asked for $150 million. You've asked for anything ranging from $15,000 pay cut up to a $35,000 pay cut. You're asking people to close contracts. Be reasonable. That's what we're asking you here. What are the alternatives if we don't come up with that? You have two, Denise, you were shop steward. Joe Belisi, you were first vice president. You could never go back to your members and have them vote on it. Because the law states, if we negotiate something with the county executive, we're under the obligation that we have to go out to our members and sell that. This will never sell. Just like you say, Mr. Schmidt, a tax increase will never sell. This will never sell. We need here is some ideas from, from both sides of the room here. And over the weekend, I hope that both of you can get, get together and come up with something that's not $150 million. We've been here, we, we've done that. We cannot do that. Am I in the middle of, of, of coming up with a counter proposal to the county? I have an obligation to my membership to do so, and I will do so, and every union leader here will do so. But what if it falls short? Then what happens? Do we still get laid off? Do we still get furloughed? What's the alternative here? We're not given any alternative except meet 150 or you're going to get laid off. That's the threat here. Again, closed contracts. What does, there's a lot of attorneys up here. You advise each one of your, uh, your, your clients never open up a contract unless it's to your advantage. Correct. But now we're being told you got to open up your contract to your disadvantage for $30,000. I'm not sure that's the case. I think NIFO. Oh, yeah, that's not the case? I think NIFO opened your contract when they opened it up and froze wages. They froze it. And you know what? This is on top. We're talking back and forth $150 million. We were told our share was $42 million. So, you know, just for uh, you know, giggles, we asked. We said, all right, do we still get a pay raise? And they said, no, if you want the pay raise, that's $8 million more for uh, 2012. And if you want a pay raise in 2014 or 2013, you've got to put an additional $8 million. That's $16 million. And they kept on adding up where, it's, where it was astronomical. And Timmy, you were there. You know that's what happened. No he said, she said. He's in the room right now. Wasn't that what we were told? $42 million, and if you want your raise, $8 million more, and then an additional $8 million a year after, and every year thereafter. Wasn't that true, Tim? It looks like he's nodding his head in the affirmative to me. Come on up. You're on. Good afternoon, Presiding Officer Schmidt. Good afternoon, Mr. Sullivan. Are you going to tell us what's going on in the, in the, in the negotiating room? Uh, no, I don't believe that's a problem. No, it's not my question. I'm not going to negotiate. What's the purpose? What's the purpose? Give me my life. Am I am I supposed to pull up with people? I'm just asking for the line. Did you? What are you asking? Well, I mean, this whole discussion. You said before that it was he said, she said. That's right. Mr. Learning. That's right. We're both in a room right now. The he said who's in the room is the union leader and the county executive. He that's wasn't in the room when that was said. said. She said. He <laughs> wasn't in the room when that was said. He wasn't in the room. That's correct. And you're right. taking it as gospel. I was sitting in a room. I'm not telling you what I was doing. You told. were sitting in the room and somebody, not the county executive, told you that. And you're taking it as gospel. I would love to play poker with you someday. Oh, oh really? Oh, oh, you know. So someone that represents the county lied to us? They, they sent somebody in there to lie to us and ask for $150 million and told me that? I'm telling you that if it were me, if I was standing in your shoes, I would be talking to the county executive and only the county executive. Well, obviously there's other people. Well, obviously you've never negotiated contracts before. Oh, I so, did actually in the town. No, no, yeah. In a I wonderful did. town voice to Bay years ago, yes, it did. Yeah. We, we, we go with the, the, whole, the whole thing. Right. Maybe, maybe that's why they took you over the coals in there. Maybe they took you over the coals. Maybe that's why they're in good shape. They took me over the coals. I'm living on about $40,000 a year. 60, 90, 100 now. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. The point here is, is that you, you said something before that's telling. He said, she said. He's in the room. I'm telling you what happened. 
You're sitting there saying he has for hundred and fifty million dollars in this session. I'm telling you that, that, that all of this does not belong here. You no, no. say whatever you want. But if it doesn't belong here, why are you voting on $150 million in concessions? You shouldn't be doing that. We have a closed contract. We're not raising taxes, Mr. Bowman. We have a closed contract. You should be going to what your expenses are. I don't know that. You don't know we have a closed contract? How did you wait for the you know, Peter, you're, you're just unbelievable. You're just going to believe whatever you want to believe, and that's fine. But you have two union leaders here that know exactly what I'm talking about. That you cannot bring this back to your members and have them vote on it. That would never happen. And even if we fell short, you'd come back at us and threaten us with playoffs time and time again. It never stops. That's why nothing is getting done right now. And you are willing to this on this side. Every single time, it's our fault. No one has, I have never said, and no one has ever said, to my knowledge, no one has ever said that it's your fault. I even said before, it's really nobody's. They didn't do it, we didn't do it, you didn't do it, your members didn't do it. But it's there. But we have to pay for it. Everybody's paying for it. Who's paying for it? Everybody's Who's paying for it? Everybody's paying for it. Everybody's paying for it. Everybody's paying for it. Let me ask you, in the, in the budget, in the, for all, all the ordinance workers and everybody else, if they're paying us in there, in the budget? In your amendments on that. In the budget, in the amendments, did you propose a uh, cut for all the other employees, for the college, for the medical center, for every place else? College is off budget, right? Maybe that's off budget. There's still workers in this county. We get the county pays a third, the state pays a third, and tuition is. Well, that's a little skewed now. They don't do a third, 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 third anymore. We don't have no last meeting. But where are the cuts for everybody else? There is none, Jimmy. Someone should answer you. There is none. There, there are no cuts. We're looking. We're looking for. We're well, even doing that. Where are the cuts of contracts? The county attorney's office. Outside contracts. Yes, presiding officer. Can we recess for five minutes, please? That's what you think about the employees in this county. You're going to go on recess. Mr. Barber, that's it. Mr. Barber, this is not no disrespect. We just need to consult for a few minutes or five minutes, asking your consideration for that. That's all. Before we do that, can, can I, I answer the question I asked before? Well, yeah, I want an answer to the question. The so answer I asked is, is, is there, there any other cuts for ordinance workers or elected officials? That's what I'm asking. You're asking the employees to share sacrifices. I understand, Mr. Carver. Well, I'm asking for five minutes for us to just speak. Tell me the truth. There is no. Tell me the truth. I anxiously await your reply. Okay. I asked you courtesy just for five minutes. Frank, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. And I will. You're going to come back with the answer in five minutes. Five minutes. No disrespect to anybody in this room. Just need to speak for five minutes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.